Okay. Well, you've brought your Raspberry Pi. Yes, uh, I have. We have shown Raspberry Pi builds uh, mm -hmm. on the show in the past. Okay. So uh, so we're, our viewers are reasonably familiar with okay, the Pi. Good. Some That's of them good. have even gone out and bought one. We sell them through our website, cat5.tv slash Pi. Awesome. Um, you've got yours. Tell us you, about it. You know what? Yes, I brought my baby here today, guys. And I'm really excited to show you because it's the new... Uh, Raspberry Pi, the third version out. So like the new 3.0. The Raspberry Pi 3. It's it's my baby right now, guys. I got it for Christmas. I came with a kit. And of course, like Robbie just said, you can go online to their store. And you can look at what they have online there. So did you get like this breadboard and everything? And yeah, you know what? I, I got exactly this. And it's really cool because um, obviously now it has a four core processor. Yeah. Which is absolutely fantastic. Gigabram. It has Wi-Fi. Bluetooth, and of course it comes with its own operating system too. Like it has Raspbian installed, which is kind of like a Linux version smushed yeah, together it's based into on a Debian. Yeah, okay. Uh, which is Linux. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and you know what? I've had so much fun, and the best part is, is that it's made for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're a six-year-old just getting into computers wanting to have fun, or if you're a Robbie who knows his way around computers. Um, but you know what? Yeah. I am that, I am that Robbie. You, what? I am that I Robbie. thought you were Bobby. <laughs> no, However, <laughs> yes. this to me introduces mm -hmm. new skills, new uh, hobbies, new experimentation and fun. Oh, yeah. Um, I've mentioned that on the show, you know, we're trying to get more into hands-on. Mm -hmm. Let's learn to do this. Let's actually build this and do this. Exactly. That's what the pie represents to me is the ability to very cheaply uh, be able to start tinkering and start learning yeah. electronics, start learning some of these really, really neat things that you can do. Exactly. And the really, really amazing part about a pie is that A, they're inexpensive, but as well as the more important part, you said right there, hands-on. Yeah. You know, you can actually build things. You can actually do your own projects. And there's pretty much unlimited potential. Like, you could get, a, you could get like, an LCD screen with it. Sure. You could get Touch extra RAM. And turn it into a little, like... You could do anything with these things, you know? And the cool thing is, is that you can also work on the programming side, too. Because mm -hmm. it comes preloaded nowadays with all this amazing free software from all skill levels. So nice. obviously like you have Python, you have JavaScript, things like that, mm -hmm. but you also have other s smaller free programs that can start like- These are like coding languages that exactly. you can work on the Pi. Yeah. And it is Linux. Exactly. But it has these, what are called GPIO headers. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they allow you to connect. And I see you've got yeah, some here, stuff I'll help connected. You. So those connectors there, it looks like an old IDE kind of thing. Yep. What is that, what capabilities does that give us, Henry? Unlimited power. No, that'd nice. be really cool. Um, no, but that it really does give us so much potential, though, because we're we're able to plug in switches, lights, yeah. all these other amazing things, and with that, you can do the most simple projects. For example, I made like a little stoplight there. It's yeah. not working oh, 100% right is? now. Yeah, you push is a this, switch. Okay, here, let me let me get in here. Can you tell us a little bit about this particular build? <laughs> so you're pulling more than just power here. Yeah. So, so. how it works is that generally right now. Um, you see three LEDs, so you have your red, your yellow, and of course, green. Um, and then, green of course, we have yellow. a switch over here. Okay. So um, it's not working quite right now, but when you push the switch, it's supposed to switch in between. And why is it not? Is this... Uh, I accidentally t forgot a resistor at home. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So I want to get to that point where I just have resistors in my pocket, and I can just hand one to you. You should, because that, that would be so much fun. It would be like, hey... Robbie's here to save the day. This looks like a lot of fun. How much um, technical knowledge? Like one of the things, like I don't, <laughs> I don't really get my, he I don't have my head around resistors yet. Yeah, like, honestly. I can understand relays and I've built a nice little relay system, which we're going to be looking at on a future episode. Hey, that's going to be fun. Yeah, but uh, resistors and things like that, like how, how much knowledge do you have to have in order to start building? Literally not at all. Like, literally, this is my first time really building from scratch like yeah. this. Okay. And that's the really amazing part is that there's two categories. Of course, the internet, it's a wonderful place. A lot of free knowledge out mm -hmm. there. Watch category five because they talk about pie a lot. I'm thinking um, that we're gonna have a lot more features <laughs> sponsor, like that. Just kidding. No, but it's, um, again, you can get packages online. Again, mm -hmm. look through your store because there's so many amazing resources. Like for example, mine came with a little book that gave you example projects and oh, it yeah? goes show 
shows you step by step how to actually build it and it explains everything, right? Ooh. So if we can actually like show them the actual like Python program that's running this right now, they would actually be able to see the code. So this, there's actually a program that's running this stoplight? Yeah, it, it, there's an actual code written in Python yeah. that's running that stoplight. Can right we now. see how that works? Or yes, we can. Okay, we actually have it ready on the Pi. Nice. Um, so as you can see, guys, this is the uh, desktop of my Pi, which is absolutely amazing. I love it. There you go. It's Boop. very uh, low resolution. Like it's built for the uh, little touch screen or something like that. Well, it's see that that's that's a cool thing though is that it's it's still very adaptable. Yeah. Right. And the amount of power that you have in it can be overkill, but the thing is that you can literally do anything. You can make like a little Wi-Fi router, you can make a media server off this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've done a uh, Plex media server. Hey, there so you go. you can do a search on our website, category5.tv, do a search for Raspberry Pi and see all the things that we've done. Oh, yeah. But uh, So I see a lot of script there. So this runs that traffic light? Is this... Oh, look at that. LED on off. Yeah. Like, so we've got the GPIO, uh, those uh, pin designations. Yep. And then nice. it's... And that's the really amazing thing about the education when it comes to Pi is that you have something that is really simple, but you have all these amazing online projects that can, it breaks you down step by step, Okay. right? And you're able to go through that. And there's so many great online resources. Heck, even on Reddit, you just yeah. search Raspberry Pi. And is that it? You just kind of do a search for, hey, some beginner projects for oh, Raspberry Pi? Or is yeah, there, exactly. Is there a particular resource that we should be looking at? Um, there's, there's quite a few. Mm -hmm. um, so there's obviously books, check your library, things like that. Really, they have uh, Raspberry Pi project books at the Oh, yeah. Libraries? A, lot, a lot of libraries that are keeping up with the times nice. are really amazing how they have so many amazing resources for kids mm -hmm. nowadays. Um, and especially kids. for adults... You know what? Kids and kids, kids at heart. inside us, you know? It's funny because some of the things that yeah. I got for Christmas, um, because I'm trying to learn these kinds of things, electronics and how, how it actually works mm -hmm. really at its core, um, exactly. say for ages six and up or ages eight and up. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, we, if we don't have that knowledge, no, it's for me. Well, it's, it's crazy, though, because <laughs> it's you, a look, funny thing. you look at kids nowadays, though, and you see a four-year-old who knows more about an iPhone than a lot of other yeah, people out there, true. right? But take it apart. They don't know necessarily what oh, makes it Oh, this thing's flashy. This thing's... Yeah, yeah. and again, this, this is where a project like this can come in handy. Right. Literally, you use your hands, mm -hmm. right? So I think it's a great education tool. Sure. And... I mean, like, I'm so excited for the next decade. I'm sorry, I'm, yeah, I'm a true, huge optimist. True. Yeah, and and not and when we talk about education, we're not just talking about mm -hmm. schools. Like, oh, I yeah. could see doing these kinds of projects with my kids. Exactly. And really see it. Mm -hmm. And with the breadboard, what's cool about that, too, is that you're not permanently soldering this thing together. This yep. is something that, you know, you're able to pull it apart and build the next one. Exactly. You can do a project. You want to try it all over again? Okay, just rip it apart and start over. Cool. And that's the cool thing is that, again, you can make sure it works before you solder everything and you can't take it apart. Right, anymore, okay. Right? And so then you can build money. a PCB. So where do you get the parts? I mean, you can get them through our affiliate link, our partner link for Amazon. Yeah, exactly. Here in Barrie, Ontario, we are absolutely blessed to have a, a store called Sayal. And Sayal is like the Radio Shack of old. Like you go it's in awesome. and it is <laughs> row after row of resistors and relays and everything else. Mm -hmm. It is paradise for a tinkerer. Um, but, you know, uh, where, where would you buy parts? Do you, is that what you do here? Yeah, you, you know what? Um, a lot of local tech stores have amazing parts. Yeah. Um, I also look at, like I said before, a lot of kits because, mm. um, again, right, they might okay. have things catered towards. So, like, example, there might be, like, seven different projects. Like, yeah. um, I heard somebody in the chat, well, saw, not heard, um, talking about, like, the Magic Mirror idea. How oh, we've seen yeah. those projects yeah, where they take the sure. mirror. Thank you very much for mentioning that, by the way. Um, how you take a mirror and then you make it a smart mirror. So it's like it gives yeah. you the time, the weather, things like that. Um, and there, I'm pretty sure there should be kits out there that can... I'm surprised if there weren't. If there aren't kits out there, somebody make a kit because that would sell very fast. Sure. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Might be fun to actually... <laughs> Is that, oh, that's the plan. That's how that's we a hint. Yeah, um, head on over to our website, category5.tv, and uh, you can actually click on uh, our, our uh, well, support us and then our partner links. Through our partner links, Amazon is a great resource for these kinds of oh, little really trinkets is. and things. They have so many kits. And kits. Like, do a search for kits for Raspberry Pi. 
It's amazing. Uh, but also, um, if you want to buy a pie, if you haven't got yours yet, cat5.tv slash pie. We've got a lot of accessories. We've got the kits themselves to get you yeah. started. And then as we evolve these kinds of um, um, projects on the show, we'll be able to, you'll be able to follow along okay. with those kits as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for bringing that in, uh, Henry. And Thanks for having it. That's a lot of fun. Very cool. Yeah. 